everybody. Here is my big pile of stuff that I picked up at the Goodwill bins. I fell off the wagon. I had to shop. I was at loose ends and I needed a place to um, hang out. <laughs> and I was over there, so why not? So um, I'm going to just show you what I got. Just a little... Uh, um, oh, what would you call that? Uh, just a little mm, show and tell, <laughs> I guess. So anyway, this is this is what I picked up at the bins. Uh, nothing uh, particularly fabulous, but all together, it's all things I really like. So um, uh, first of all, I love the little tin, and I started adding little things as I picked them up to it. And one of the things that I found was this little daisy necklace. And I thought, oh, I love those. I love those little daisies because these ones are all flat. And they'll go on the inside of any journal page. And um, maybe maybe some with the uh, stones in it. But... Um, the ones with the stones in it definitely on the outside of journal pages. So I've got one, two, three, four, five flat ones, which are, you know, it just, I don't know. It's just so fun. Uh, I might even, uh, if I, <laughs> I think that it, it probably all fit together kind of like that as a necklace, which was kind of different. I would have liked it as a necklace, but there again, that's that's just me uh, I also found uh, some of these little baggies um, I for some reason I always needed little baggies and now I don't seem to need them as much but these are bigger than the ones I had before the ones I had before were these this size and they only <laughs> held one bead <laughs> So I put all my buttons in there, and um, so I've got a bowl of individually bagged up buttons. Just because I was at loose ends one day, and I did that. But um, but now I have this size, and I'm not sure what to do with it. But um, uh, I'm sure I'll come up with uh, with something for them. And I'm just going to keep them inside this little tin because it's perfect. And then, of course, um, I'm always finding this money uh, in the bins. It's um, actual replicas of bills, but, of course, much smaller and they're the wrong color. But um, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to, to glue them all and make a page of, of money? So... I, I picked up a, a, a few for, for that, what I thought would probably make a nice page. And um, this was fun because look how you can see the, the fluid in there. So it makes a, um, it works really nice, very liquidy, very, um, very nice. And so that caught my eye and I just threw it in my my basket so that's what I have there I also found these which again I can demonstrate to you these are um, uh, Crayola uh, watercolor watercolor pencils and I love watercolor pencils. And this is what it does. This is probably not. But see how that does? So this is really, really nice. So I'm really happy with those. I don't think they're, they're not expensive. They do blend. Look at that. <laughs> they blend. And I think um, I, I think those will be fun. I think those will be really fun to play with. 
So, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to keep these. I have a couple sets for in the house. So I'm going to put these in my um, car uh, container because I always keep a water pan too. So, um, and then maybe a little sharpener with it. So anyway, so I got those. I was happy to find those. I was happy to find quite a few colors. Let's see, how many colors did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colors. Now I don't know what the white does. Just just for um Okay, there's white. It does it does work even on light color colors. So So yeah. So, oh, that's fun. That's fun. Okay, I could sit here and paint all day. You're here to see my haul. And um, it had a whole bunch of other colored pencils and pens and so forth in this bag. And it wasn't $1.99. That's what it didn't sell for. And then they threw it to the bins. And so I just paid by the ounce. And I would imagine these are just, you know, three or four ounces. So probably about 50 cents. And I found this box that I fell in love with. And it's got some problems. But I love the box and I didn't care what was in it. I thought I, I need to have that box because it's nice size for storing um pencils and so forth but inside it had um, a couple of fountain pens uh, I don't know anything about fountain pens and there's a couple of tips there too so because they look all dried up I don't know are they ruined is that why somebody threw them out um, so if you know anything about fountain pens, let me know in the, um, in the comments. This really looks like it has a nice, uh, I think it's the kind you just dip it in ink and then you can write. I've never used one. So, and I do have some ink, so I'm going to, I mean, I don't have any ink that I can access. It's packed up with all my stuff still from Florida that I never unpacked, but I do have some ink. Now, another thing that I um, I picked up is I picked up a lot of um, cards. I picked up a lot of cards, and I picked up this, um, this card here, which is still sealed in plastic, um, it's uh, printed in France, and it's a Matisse, and I loved it, and I thought, oh, that's a beautiful card to, to for a video. I mean, not for a video, for a journal, but um, it's also a nice card to send, so I, I like that. The folio, I always look for folios because these are hard to find, and they make great journals. These make good journal covers. And this happens to still have paper in it, so uh, paper and envelopes. So since I have several pen pals, uh, hopefully I will get myself to doing some writing and use that up and um, and make a cute journal out of this, maybe for a giveaway or something. But um, I just I thought that was very pretty, and um, most of it's here. So, um, this was a box. It had, it had all of the cards in it, but I didn't want these. Uh, I didn't want this, this card. I didn't want to pay for all the cards. So I, I threw out all the cards. I bent this up, but these envelopes are fabulous. 
they are uh, just th tossed that to the side because you really can't tell but they are beautiful beautiful envelopes the paper feels wonderful it it just has such a great heft to it and quality so i was really happy um and i kept all the envelopes but i didn't i didn't buy all the cards i was um uh not thrilled with the cards uh like i say this card here had um the the main card that they used for the cover was like this and all you could see was a blurred half of the um it was all blurry so i didn't i didn't like it and i thought i'm not buying all those cards and then there was another card i didn't like so i got these cards and this style which i think that you would uh, agree that that is really a pretty card and then this one i thought was very nice it's along the sign river but i love the sky and i love the um the color so so those are the cards i just picked out the cards and i left the other cards there i didn't care about them and i thought well maybe somebody else might like those cards and then i also thought that this would make um, a nice journal cover too maybe a, a try opening kind where i could this would flip out i don't know i don't know if it will or not but i I love that. That I like. And then I found these cards at different uh, places in the bins. And so whenever I see a card that I look at and I hold in my hand and I don't want to put it down, I want to see the whole card, I think that's a card I want. So I got that one and this one and this one. And I think uh, they all came from uh, Williamsburg. Yep. Colonial Williamsburg, um, these three cards. So they're nice quality, beautiful cards. And I don't, oh, this is too, Colonial Williamsburg. But I didn't get the envelope to that one. And maybe this one is. Yes, the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, I thought these, these are really nice. This is the only one I didn't get a, an envelope to, but I have some extra of the Paris envelopes and I'm sure that I can work with that if I wanted to use it in an envelope. Normally I would like to use those just in journals and these I picked up and I didn't see the envelopes to these and I was fine because I just thought, oh, these are just very pretty for backgrounds, just background paper. I love it. So um, even though they are cards, I don't know who they're by. Royal Stationery, don't know them, but I think those are very pretty. They look handmade to me, but they're not. They're printed. So let's see what else is in my little stash here. Um... These little stickers I thought were very cute to make flowers with. And these little stickers. Um, Jolie's Boutique. And I've got frog stickers and some sort of a beetle. doesn't say what kind it is but i thought oh those are very colorful very pretty i like those so um and this time the you know i'm getting really good about not buying anything that can be used in a journal i'm buying just what i am loving and so i left a whole bunch of stuff i left one package I mean, there was like five or six brand new packages of Easter stickers. But you know what? I don't like those 
shimmery uh, I'm all about shimmer but I don't like these shimmery ones they're like foily shimmery and um, and I didn't care for the the Easter designs the um, there's just there's certain patterns and things that I really like oh here's another card that I found uh, which I thought was very pretty um, don't know don't know that might have been a free card that somebody that comes in the mail sometimes but um, I, I don't know but I um, I liked it I really liked it and I'm gonna put it back in my fall stuff for next year uh, anyway back to the stickers um, there's just a certain feel to stickers um, just like for example I did pick up these Easter stickers and I liked these illustrations but I just didn't like the illustrations of the other ones they were they were nice they were fine they were perfectly good there was nothing wrong with them but I'm getting I'm I'm trying to be more like if you pick it up in your hands and you love it then bring it home okay I'm trying to do that um adhesive nylon dots the little velcro dots which um, I tried to use, I bought some of this at, at another time, and I tried to use it, and it was so strong, it kept pulling the, the, <laughs> pulling the stuff off <laughs> that I had glued it to, <laughs> so, so maybe the dots will be better. Um, I had those somewhere in here. I have a full package of these. <laughs> So, um, so I did get some bling and it's just because I like borders and I will use those for borders. And then, uh, I found these, uh, photo caption stickers and I thought, oh, those are fun. And you can put your, uh, now that, that sticker is gone, but these plain stick, there's a lot of plain stickers here. So, uh, there were four sheets of them. And I thought, oh, those will be those will be kind of fun to play with. I'm always looking for caption stickers, and I don't have to use them in like a thought. I can just cut that out and put it on a on a card or whatever. So I like that. I also found some just a a, a partial pack of sketching pencils, which they go pretty fast. But um, uh, and I've just bought a whole bunch of them. But I've been sketching a lot, and you see, when you start grinding them down, uh, they they're done. You can only use them when they're so long. So, um, so this is for um, almost new pencils. The this one here is not quite new, but these are pretty pretty much uh, new pencils. So we'll see. Oh, and along with the uh, the sketching pencils, I found the. Um, the pa a pad of paper so um so i was very happy uh with that and this is really heavy it almost feels like fabric paper i think i can watercolor on it and it's supposed to have 30 uh sheets in this uh it looks like the original price was just 450 so they're not apparently it's not a very good um sketching oh it says double size to accept light use of wet media so i can use um i can do some watercolor in it but it feels wonderful and uh there's like 22 pages so 22 out of 30 not too shabby um i found this atlas i don't know uh, what year it is and I'm gonna say it's either maybe 59 or 69 or 79 it's got the um, copyright MCM L I X does anybody read um, Roman numerals <laughs> I think that's 1959 I know that's nine the ML, I think that's 50, and then maybe L is maybe 10 more, so 69. 
So anyway, I I don't remember, and I haven't had a chance to look it up. I found this. It's a handkerchief box, but I just thought, oh my goodness, I, you know, I thought I don't need a handkerchief, and it looks like it's hand embroidered. It's, I mean, it might be machine embroidered, but it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's been stored in this box for um, for all these years, and on here very lightly written in pencil it says 1937 christmas to loa lois from marshall bromfield to lois from marshall bromfield and she kept it all these years from 1937 in the original box now, I didn't see that. I just knew it was an older box. I didn't see that when I bought it. I saw that later. And I thought maybe if I took the sides off, um, I could make um, a very nice journal cover off of it. But there might be somebody who might actually want it since it's so nicely preserved and somebody kept it so carefully all these years. I kind of feel bad taking it apart and throwing away the the handkerchief because that's not something I would use. Um, I found these 16 colors of oil pastels. Don't know if they're any good. They're probably not. Um, there's apparently only 15 so one of the colors is gone. Not the white. Darn. <laughs> White's not my favorite. Uh, it just seems like I always have trouble with white. It either doesn't show up or, um, I don't know. White's good for mixing and making the colors change. Is there a black? Yeah, there's a black. Oh, it's, it might be the, unless that, that's the black one there. So I don't know. Let me grab this. I don't really know how an oil pastel works feels like a crayon does it does it change with water do you get it wet does it move uh, don't think so doesn't seem like it would because it's oil based so I don't know I'll have to look it up and see how to play with oil pastels But it looks fun, and it's a brand new box. Oh, what did I do? I left, didn't put that back. It's a brand new box. They're, they're apparently Lion or oil pastels, and they're probably worth uh, five bucks. <laughs> but I only paid a few cents for them, so that's perfectly fine. Um, I found these. these old photographs and they're um they're the german town uh, fire department number one engine house and this is the german town fire truck and it looks like they're uh, fairly old pictures they were stuck on a board and i don't know i i just pulled them off the board so somebody, um, so I don't, I don't really know anything about them, but they might be of uh, some value. But I thought, oh, I love those old prints, and uh, would be very nice to put into a journal. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I picked up. Three of these that still have the, uh, well, and probably they would be a dollar. I probably paid a few pennies because they're so light. I don't even think they weigh an ounce. So that would be like six cents. And then this is a stamp cleaning pad, which I thought would be very handy to have. It's washable and refillable. 
so um, it, it does have a very deep pile to uh, scrub your stamps with so I thought I probably wouldn't keep it ready to use all the time but if I'm doing a massive all cleaning of all my stamps that's would be nice to have so so I bought that these things I brought I brought home I don't like to get journals because I have so many but you know I might run out someday and this cover was just too cute just too cute to leave so I did really, really, really like that. And I thought, oh, so what? I can make it into a glue book. So that was fun. And I found this box, <laughs> pig rings. And I thought, oh my goodness. And they were, it was full of pig rings. And it just looked old, um, established 1872. I know the box isn't from 1872, but it did look like an old box. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun um, in, in a vintage journal? So, um, so I emptied out all the pig rings, <laughs> and I just wanted the box. Why pay for all the weight for something I'm not going to use? And what else did I get? Oh, here's the. Um, Here's the other um, thing of bling. And then I picked up this um, just because I have a, a ring that has tags on it. And I like that. I like that tag. And then this is a 3D bookmark ruler. And look at that. I don't know if it's going to show up very, very very well as 3D, but it is really cool. And I thought I might use that for a while before I glue it in a book because man, it is so 3D. Love it. And like it, like I say, it's just all just little things. Um, I found this tag that was attached to a bag, and I thought I like the tag, but I don't need the bag. So I just took the tag. Um, I found some from Pier One Imports, some playing cards. Don't know if they're all there. I'm gonna use them and make altered playing cards with those. And uh, some old Kodachrome um, slides. I don't know what they're slides of. I can't see. I've held it right up to the light. This one looks like it's a parade. Some looks like they're scenic ones. They don't look like family ones. But um, people do use slides, and I thought that might be kind of fun to have a few slides in there. I'm certainly not going to use any of my family slides. And then um, I was looking for um, I was looking for some uh, canvases to cover up and paint and do some uh, mixed media work on it. And <laughs> surprise, surprise, here is one that has uh, the mixed media already done, and I love it just as it is. So um, I especially love this stamp. Is that just just too awesome love the stamp love all the postage the handwriting love the bees and the flowers just um, it's just too pretty so I'm not I'm not gonna paint over it I'm going to I'm gonna hang this I'm gonna hang it just like it is I like it and I did I say did I tell show you this one? I did find a small one to do some mixed media on, and that looks like a nice background just to start off with. I love the colors, and a little piece of this. And anyway, that's just a good base to to start working with. And then I found. Let me set some of this stuff. Let me set some of that stuff 
uh, off to the side in just a minute. I'll show you this first. I found this. This is apparently a hanging bag. And um, since I'm going on a trip, I thought this looks much sturdier to carry a lot of my my art tools and my art things. There's quite a few, um, there, there's four, four different um, uh, bags and look, they come off. So if like, if I'm doing just watercolor, I don't have to bring the whole thing over to the table. I can just take off maybe my, uh, my paints and brushes and uh, I, this would hold all my, uh, my, my uh, watercolor, my Jane Davenport stuff that I take when I travel. Just one of those. So, um, so anyway, so I thought this was nice and because it has this hanger, I can uh, use it at home to hang on the door and for storage. So look at that. Is that just great? Now it won't fold like this. I'm sure when I have it full, it would be kind of bulky, but it's brand new. So I was very happy. Oh, oh, didn't see that. Even a little handle to carry it with. Okay, happy with that. Now, I have something a little odd, something a little unusual to show you. Um, I also picked up this. I don't know if this is a makeup brush or a fan brush for, I think it's a makeup brush, but I'm thinking it might be kind of a nice fan brush to uh, sprinkle stuff with. Uh, so let me set this stuff aside. I want to show you something. It's kind of an odd thing and unusual. Um, I did, well this, I picked up this because it's Susie Zoo. My um, daughter's friend was so into Susie Zoo that now I um, always notice it. I'm gonna put all this back. Oh, and I did get a very nice box um, to carry all this, uh, to keep all this stuff in, which is kind of how I like to gather things so I can kind of keep a handle on how much I'm buying. <laughs> it's, you know, when you're at the bins, it's so easy to fill up a cart. I mean, literally fill a cart because they have so much stuff. So I felt very good about leaving the bins with just these few things. And uh, one thing for my, um, one other thing, which is something I had just bought for $50. And, but this will add to that. So, so I feel like um, I got a $50 item as well. Okay, now, let me see. Make sure I get all this stuff put away. Don't know what to do about that fan thing. You know, I like these boxes with the um, um, piece on the front of it. But this is a really, really nice box. And I was just so happy to get it. But this is just the uh, most unusual thing that I was, I, what I went in for is to look for, this is all I should have bought because that's what I went in for. I went in to try and get some ephemera that I could age, that was already somewhat aged, that I could age a little bit myself. And I started looking at it, and um, this is crazy, but um, all of this has come from one family, and it's all of their, all of their, I don't want to, I'm kind of, I haven't looked to see if anybody's still around from this family. It's a local, um, it's, it's, the, there's names on it and an address, um, and I'm sure they don't live there anymore. This is, 
Well, I maybe need to not show that. I don't want to show any names or addresses because I was going to tear them. I was going to tear everything up and not really have any addresses. But every time I picked up a piece of this to look, it had something else to do with their family. And like I know the history of their family. There's their there's a birth certificate from their daughter, some uh, report cards from her kindergarten. This is her kindergarten report card. But then in, when she was in high school, she was getting all Fs and Ds. And um, there was, um, here's uh, where they, they got a, a, like a ticket of some sort, um, abstract abstract driver record something somewhere anyway they got in trouble for distracted driving somebody got in trouble for distracted driving and then this is a, a birth registration um the, and then there was a, a letter because the one the the okay it turns out it's a mom a dad and a daughter and the mom couldn't get her birth certificate because there was no record of it so she had to get a, a later one. And so the, all the correspondence for that is there. She did get it. Um, she did get it. And she got um, affidavits from people who knew her. Um, there's a, there's a, a letter here. Or a, uh, there's a doc, a tax documents. There's a birth or a, a baptismal record um, there's the school district and some later report cards that are just terrible along with her health records of the daughter and um, divorce papers for the parents it's just like all the most important papers birth birth certificates divorce records there's this one picture here and that might be the daughter. Um, this is uh, oh, this is the divorce one. Here's a, a little bit of correspondence, which is interesting and uh, very um, old. Uh, all the dates are on here. This is in this is seventy six. You know, so these are all you know quite. Um, this is Department of the Navy. Um, uh, 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 like a radio system, like the like a telegram. Uh, when the husband went to Paris Island, so he was in the Marine Corps. More, um, but anyway, it's just all of this about a, a family who lived here in the area, and it's like their their most personal records so uh, I feel kind of I don't I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do with it <laughs> I you know I might pick up one thing and then I'll age it up and then tear it up and put it in as backgrounds and stuff but this is like a whole life of some family so I don't know I might um I might have to make um I'm kind of thinking of maybe making a journal of some sort with um uh with maybe makeup pictures or um maybe made up names I don't know I I I don't know I my my mind is just like on oh what can I do with this what can I do with all this stuff so, if you have any suggestions, that would be great. I, I would like to know what you would do if you found a pile of all these personal family records. And I think that um, that's not unusual to find that. But I just have never found anything so much about one family. And, you know, the funny thing is, is I picked this stuff up from all over the bins. They were just everywhere. And I didn't even realize it was all from one family until I got home and I started looking and I thought every time I opened up an envelope, it was like, oh, he was in the Marines or, 
oh no, they got a divorce. And <laughs> I was like, it was like reading a story, just opening all the documents. Very fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Well, anyway, I've gone on long enough about it. And um, my picture has fallen over. And I did find uh, something to hang on the door so that I can hang my little... I don't know if I can hang it because this might be too wide. But um, just... Uh, um, I just, I had a fun day at the pins. I was glad I stopped. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the haul. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.